And welcome to BrittanyRest.com, a place of encouragement for the world-weary believer. And we are in a series right now called Breaking Down the Basics. Last time we looked at witnessing. What does that look like? What does the Bible say? And how can we practically live it out? Uh, it was a great message and very informative piece for people of all walks of life, whether you're a new Christian or you've been a Christian a long time. In fact, this whole series is for new believers and those who have been Christians for a long time because uh, whether you're not sure what the Bible says or whether you haven't maybe studied it in a long time and just need to be refreshed and reminded, this series is for you. Today we're going to be looking at prayer. Uh, what does the Bible say about it? I think there's a lot of thoughts on what prayer maybe should be or should look like. Uh, some people think that, you know, is it's internal. It's something that you pray in your mind. Some people are very vocal with it. Uh, is it on your knees, bowed down, or is it pacing back and forth? There are a lot of thoughts on prayer. But what does the Bible say about it? So below, we're going to explore that. We're going to look at a lot of verses. It's going to be very, very helpful. And my prayer is that at the end of this, it infuses your prayer life with some excitement, with some knowledge, and that it just helps uh, enhance that intimacy with Christ in your prayer time because there is certainly few things more important than prayer. There probably isn't anything more important in, than prayer when it comes to your walk with the Lord because prayer changes things. And I honestly believe that because I've seen that lived out in my own life time and again. So read below, answer the questions, please leave some comments or send me a message on the contact page if you have any questions or thoughts. And uh, come right back here next week as we continue our series on breaking down the basics. Have a great week. Bye.